Welcome to Blonde Cards and Crafts. Let's make something together. Hello everyone. Today I wanted to share with you this magazine that I picked up. It's card making and paper craft and there's 101 gorgeous makes in it. Now it comes with some great stuff. It comes with um, four sheets of ephemera which I have popped out and put into a little cellophane bag. It comes with a beautiful stamp set and you can see it here. This isn't your typical Christmas stamp set. This is the Nutcracker 90 stamp set. It's got ballerinas, two soldiers, uh, a tree, it's got lovely sentiments as well. Seasons, greetings, Merry Christmas, have a cracking Christmas and a little wreath. It also comes with some lovely papers. Now these are A4 when they come together, so you have to cut them in half. And that's what I'm trying to show you here. They come together like so, and then you cut them down the middle and you have these pieces. And they measure when they're cut five and three quarters by seven and a quarter thereabouts so there's some lovely papers i'm going to swiftly go through them here and you get two of each lovely little lights for the christmas tree and then there's these scenes and there's two of each of these so it's like as if you're on stage and they're the backgrounds so i'm going to use two of the scenes in my cards actually i'm going to use three as well as some of the sentiments I'm going to use as well in my cards. So that's everything that came in the magazine. I got these fab sleeves online and what I do is I keep these sleeves um, from my die, my dies and for my stamps. So with little sets like these, what I do is put all the bits and pieces together in the sleeve. I'll have my stamp set at the front and then I'll put that in my little um, box that I have with all my stamps in it. Sometimes if I would get dies in the magazine, I will put all of it together like this as well. Put the dies at the front and stick it in with all my other dies. So there's the papers in. They fit in nicely, my stamps. And then the little cellophane bag, you can um, take off the tape and it'll stick onto it there. So that's how I keep everything and I know what's what in my collection. So I'm going to open the magazine and I'm not going to show you everything that's in it. I'm just going to give you an idea of the cards that you can make the inspiration in the magazine using the freebies that you got. So in these cards that I've made, three of them have a window on them and I got this die um, in another magazine. Unfortunately, I didn't write the name of the magazine or the issue or anything. That's before I copped on to YouTube and what I should be doing. And again, I just keep my dies in this sleeve. I have a piece of card behind it. And this is the window that it cuts out. And I have used some 300 GSM white cardstock here for my windows. So the first card I'm going to make is a shaker card and I'm going to need some foam tape. I have my 3M. I'm going to round some corners. I'm going to use some of the ephemera or the toppers. I'm also going to use the um, stamp set and I have two of the stamps out there on blocks. I will use my stick it roller tape um, as well as I have a wide double sided very sticky tape. I have a little piece of acetate here that you can see. I've also got some of these sequins or glitter. I got this in Poundland or Deals here in Ireland. Um, there we go. There's our little window that we've die cut out. This is a cut from one of the seams, scenes that we got in the magazine. I just cut this piece out here to go behind my window. So I'll just pop the window over it. And then it'll look as if, well, the idea is that it'll look as if there's a scene behind it. This is a five by seven scalloped card. You can make your own cutting out a 10 by seven sheet of card and scoring it at five. The lovely uh, snowflake or star background that I'm using is um, from the Hell's Couple Ditch Paper Pack. And you see the measurements that I had there on the screen. So this is the paper pack. It's a 12 by 12 Christmas village. I got this last year and that's the paper I'm going to be using. This paper is fabulous. I just love using this at Christmas time. So now what I'm going to show you next 
is how I make a shaker card. I have 3M Scotch foam tape here and I cut off a nice long piece of it. Then what I do is I double it over on itself and I make sure that the two ends come together nicely. And then squeezing it between my fingers and thumb, I run my fingers down along the edge, keeping it nice and even so one doesn't, you know, sit over the other. And I press it down good and tight when I get to the end. Now, because the backing paper is on both sides, when we use our scissors, I'm using my long ones here, but you can use any that you have in your stash. It, the, it, the foam tape, the sticky on it, won't stick to your scissors because there's backing paper on both sides. So I'm going to speed it up now and I'm going to show you, I'm going to get four lengths out of this width of 3M foam tape. There we go. Okay, so what we need to do now, I'm going to tidy everything up and um, then I'm going to take some red um, tape. This is a double sided backing tape. I was going to use my stick it there, but I've gone with this. This is a really strong adhesive double sided tape. It's absolutely brilliant and I'll leave links to everything that I can below guys. But I'm going to use this all around the outline of the window. I've taken my bone folder here and I'm pressing down on the tape to make sure that I get a good, you know, coverage down on it. I'm using my tweezers to pull off the backing of the double sided tape. Sometimes that can be really hard to get off. Now I've got my piece of acetate here and I'm going to put that down and then I'm going to take my fold it over 2M foam tape, 3M foam tape, and I'm going to 2M, hilarious, my foam tape, and I'm going to make sure that I butt them up against each other because if there's any gaps in your tape, then your sequins or your sparkles, whatever you put in is going to fall out. Now, before I continue on with my window, I need to stick down this beautiful paper onto my card base. And this paper that you see here measures four and three quarters by five and three quarters. So I have my lovely little shaker glitter here. There's stars and there's fine glitter in this. And I have used the um, silver and the gold um, stars. I'm also going to take some sequins from my stash and I'm using these white iridescent ones as well as some black iridescent ones. So I try to, I want to kind of give the impression of nighttime and sparkle and snow. So that's the sequin mix I'm using. Now I'm going to take the piece of um, scene paper that I have and stick that on the back. And this means now that I can place my shaker down wherever I want. Here's the very sticky double sided wide tape that I have got. I'm going to put a little bit of my roller tape along one edge and then I'm going to pop that down and center it on the card. Lovely. Delighted with that. Now I'm going to take um, the Have a Cracking Christmas, which is in the gold and a kind of a purpley navy color. And this topper was in the topper sets that we got. And I'm going to put that along the bottom. There's also a matching one and it's got those, the leaf, and I'll put that across the top. Inside, I've got the um, three parcels topper. And then I'm going to stamp down my lovely Christmas tree and my sentiment, have a cracking Christmas. And that is my fabulous shaker. I love this, guys. It's, I love a good shaker. You just can't beat a good shaker card. And I think that's what this is here. Love it. So here's some pictures of the uh, card that I've made, the front and the inside. And then we're going to move on to our second card. And this is a window frame card. So this one again is another shaker card. I've used my die cut of my window. I've put on my acetate as well as my foam. And I have stuck down my beautiful ballerina page on this six by six standard card base. And you can see the acetate that's down there and that's gonna hold our shaker bits. And this is the scene that I'm going to put behind it. So this time we're Ooh, inside. Ha, text message. Oops, should have silenced my phone. 
Anyway, this is the scene that I took this piece of paper so that when our window is in front of it, the lovely ballerinas there look like as if there are wallpapers. So we're inside our house looking out. So I have my stamps and everything ready. Let's go ahead and get it together. My card base, it's a six by six card and the ballet dancer paper that I have is five and a quarters by five and three quarters. I'm going to take some of my lovely glitter shaker stars. I'm going to pop them, the red and the silver into this card. Now I've also taken some of the pink sequins that I had in my stash and I've put them in there as well. So the pink in the ballet dancers will be pulled out in the window shaker bits. I've put my piece behind my lovely little seam and I'm going to trim the little piece that's hanging over the bottom there. Now again I'm going to use my strong double sided tape and pulling that off using my tweezers and a little bit of my stick it to the side. So this shaker piece is not going to come off my card. I'm rubbing down from the inside as well as the outside. I have this lovely pink sentiment piece here that I was going to put on the front. It would again pull out the pink in the dancers, but I just felt it was too big for the window. So I'm going to take this lovely green one and it has Merry Christmas on it and a Christmas tree on each side. And I'm going to just use my stick of tape and adhere that down onto the bottom of the windowsill. As you can see, I have a lovely piece of the um, paper left over here. The paper measures one and three quarters by five and three quarters. And I've put that on there to the right hand side of the card and it ties the front and the inside together. I've put my Christmas tree and again, have a cracking Christmas. And here's some lovely photos. So that's our second card that we've made. We're going to go on now and make our third card. And our third card isn't a shaker card. It's just a window image. And this is a five by seven card. I'm taking the fireplace scene here off the papers that came. And I have cut those down to fit inside my window. And my one measures three by four. So my card base is five by seven, but you can cut card 10 by seven and score it five. I have this lovely green paper that I'm going to use as my mat and it's called asparagus. I just love that. I thought it was fab. This is four and three quarters by six and three quarters. And then I have a lovely piece of card, this wood panel, which is four and a half by six and a half. It's going to sit on top. The paper pad that I got this um, panel from is Nature at Heart. It's a mix and match, it's craft sensations and it's a 12 by 12 pack. All I need to do now is choose a nice sentiment for on the card and I want to pick up something in the colour of the background behind the fireplace. This lovely purple and gold topper with the sentiment Se Seasons Greetings. I like that one. I was just having a quick look there in the bag, but I'm going to go with that. OK, so all I need to do is run some tape along the back of the window and stick it down on top of the seam. And then I'm going to take some of my stick it roller and put all my mats and layers together. So once I have that on the back of my green layer, I'm going to attach that down onto my card base. Again, I'm going to use my stick it roller and I'm going to put some tape behind the window and I'm going to center it, but put it up, you know, so it's in the top two thirds of the card so that I can put my season's greeting sentiment underneath the window and try and get that centered. So now inside I have the stamp of the Christmas tree. I'm going to put that in the bottom right hand corner with my sentiment because it doesn't always have to be in the middle of the card and here's some images of the card we've made so now we've just got one card left to make and that is our nutcracker our little soldier i'm using my card in the landscape so it'll be a top folding card again this is a five by seven card I'm using red this time and my red mat measures four and three quarters. 
my solder paper measures four and a half by six and a half and that's going to go on top like that now i'm using two of the toppers again from the pack that we got i'm going to use the lovely soldier the background is in purples and mauves and i'm going to back it on some white card i was looking at using the little rocking horse there but i'm going to pull out a sentiment instead this is a red sentiment with a drum on it and it has seasons greetings and again i'm going to back that with a white piece of card so that it'll be seen e easily on the front of the card this is a nice simple card to make but i really like the look of it so now i lost a bit of footage putting it together but i don't think you really needed that inside i've stamped the card with um the nutcracker the soldier and beside it again i've used the sentiment have a cracking christmas and here's some pictures of the card that i've made I hope you enjoyed my tutorial of these four cards using the card making and paper craft magazine, the products that came in issue 201, as, as well as some from my stash. If you're a subscriber, thanks for subscribing. And if not, you might click on the subscribe button down below and hit the bell icon so you'll be notified each time I post a new video. You can find me on Facebook, Instagram, as well as YouTube. And until next time, thanks for watching. Bye bye.